Oh, again, uh, this is going to be a video on my sound blaster setup. Uh, basically, what I call it is a remote pressure pot blaster. And with a pressure pot blaster, how they work is you've got the air goes in and it there's a, a pipe that some of the air goes into the pot and pressurizes, puts air pressure on top of the sand. And then that forces it out through a valve at the bottom. And then there's also air that comes down the side of the tank and down the bottom of it. And that in then the air, that's a constant airflow f coming out of it. <clears throat> and then that injects, and then where the sand has been pressurized, sand is then metered through a ball valve and injected out into the airstream. And so that mixes it and it goes up through a hose and then out through a nozzle. The way my one works, which I think it's so far as it does quite a good job. Uh, the way my one works is with it being what I call it remote is because instead of the sand mixing with the air at the bottom of the, the tank, the sand goes through a separate hose through the bottom of the tank and mixes in this sort of T joint a bit here at the end just before the nozzle. And see that one? That is where your sand, pure sand, goes up there and injects into the airstream and blasts it out. And this hose here is just where raw air from the compressor, com big compressor, comes out. And and the reason why I did it like that is because you know you imagine inch sand blast. So this is just PVC hose, and it was about I think it was like 50 quid for 30 meters. And you can imagine, you know, 30 meters of sand blasting hose. I mean, it'd be, you know, it'd be a couple hundred, you know, for decent proper hose. And then it's a lot heavier, and you know, a lot more, you know, a lot more, probably not as flexible as this. I might be wrong on that, but so this is cheaper, and there's of course there's less wearing parts on it. So all around, it's cheaper. The the only th way I work it with mine is I've got the air coming from my big homemade compressor just going directly through this but I've got the sand is pressurized by my sort of workshop air compressor just a standard air compressor and that one I just charged it up to about 60 psi and so that that just so it's, you know, it's under a bit more pressure just to help it inject into the stream but I mean so that's how that's how I use it and just the other day I was you know, I was blasting for an hour on it and nothing was going wrong in it, it was all working nicely. For a nozzle, this is it, I made this on the lathe, it's just got a brass half inch end cap on it. It's a lot like the ceramic nozzles that you get. And it's steel, but as you'll see inside there, that's a tungsten carbide insert. You can get those, they're 3.5 mil, you can get them on eBay for about 20 quid. You know, for tungsten carbide, that's pretty good, that. And so, with this, I just, I got the bit, and it's a bit of rod. Yeah, I cut it in half, so I've got a spare one when this one wears out, if it ever does. Uh, the only problem is you can only get them in 2.5, 3 and 3.5 mil. And I was more wanting a like a four mil. I mean, I've read that you can. It is possible to drill out the tungsten, but it's really you need like a. I think it's a laser or something. Uh, I mean, because I was originally going to use like a four mil nozzle, but the way it's working right now, it's doing. A, it's not too, not too smaller, you know, blast size, blast area. So I think I'll stick with it. Uh, so that's it really, if you have any questions on it or uh, just message me and I'll be happy to help. Alright, thank you.